This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. In another sign that things are headed back toward normal, SDSU announcing it's planning to return to primarily in-person learning in the fall. San Diego State University is looking into options to help keep students safe, including regular COVID testing, continued contact tracing and quarantine housing and enhanced cleaning. Faculty and staff will be expected to be back on campus beginning late summer. UC San Diego also planning to return to in-person learning this fall. San Diego bars and restaurants can now stay open later than they have nearly in a year. The 10 p.m. curfew in place since July was lifted last night as San Diego County moved into the orange tier. Many restaurants and bars say those extra late night hours are significant for them and their businesses. San Diego County's move to the orange tier also allowing restaurants to increase their indoor capacity to 50 percent, which is also a big boost to their business. Well, it's now officially been three months since the Chula Vista mother disappeared. Maya Miliete was last seen January 7th, the same day that her family says she filed for divorce. On the anniversary of her disappearance, police said they've interviewed 47 people, written 12 search warrants and reviewed more than 40 tips. Her husband Larry admits the two had a rocky marriage but maintains his innocence and is not cooperating with the investigation anymore. All right, let's turn our attention to the weather now. Turns out it's going to be a beautiful day here. I know, go figure. That's the way we like it here in America's finest city, keeping things nice and sunny after some fog this morning. We'll see temperatures topping off in the mid 60s to low 70s at the coast, mid to upper 70s inland, which is about four to seven degrees cooler than yesterday. 60s in the mountains with the 90s in the deserts, and it will remain breezy to gusty at time in the times in the mountain and desert areas. Winds picking up again into the afternoon and evening with westerly gusts of 40 to up to 55 miles per hour. That wind advisory has been extended until midnight. Patchy morning fog with sunny days will be the trend through Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll see a thicker marine layer taking longer to clear, and we'll start to see temperatures starting to cool Sunday with greater cooling into early next week. Jim? Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.